Hey everyone, Vincent here for Slash Your Android Community. Aside from the facial unlock, my the next feature that I really like on Ice Cream Sandwich is the voice dictation. So I'm going to create a quick email to my wife to let her know that I'm going to be late. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello wife, this is your husband, comma, I'm going to be late to dinner tonight, won't be able to meet you at 630 how about we get together at 7.30 at the Olive Garden on Scottsdale Road, question mark. As you can see, it basically nearly perfect. And if you pause, it will sit there and wait for you. Period. And if you continue talking, ICS will know and start dictating for you. In this case, it got Linux in there somehow. Now watch this. I'm going to tell it to add an exclamation point and it will know to do that instead of typing out the word. You see that? Period. Pretty nifty, huh? Now, there is a maximum length. If we keep going and going and going and going and going and going, it will tell us that it has hit the maximum range. Unfortunately for this demo, it hasn't reached it yet. So I gotta keep going and going, period. So how's the weather out there? And oh, there it goes. Maximum length exceeded. Pretty neat, huh? So one feature that I'd like to see in ICS is the ability to have quick access to the camera app uh, or camera functionality without having to unlock the device first. Uh, something that is available on the the iPhone, iOS 5, and Windows Phone. Um, if that feature is important to you, make sure that uh, you go and unlock your phone before you do that. So now, if I come in, oh, why is it still asking for my face? Let's see here. Security. Okay, none. Forgot to do that earlier. Okay, so. Didn't lock my phone for some reason. Okay, now that's just silly. Let me go back and take a look. Screen lock. See here. Slide. Oh, didn't see that earlier. Okay, so now if I come in, I can either unlock or activate the camera app, which there it goes. Oh, and while we're here, check this out. The, the front facing camera tracks my face. So no matter where I move, it follows me. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. And if you want to take a picture of my ugly face, there it goes. Not bad. And the other thing that I want to point out is you really should commit these three buttons to memory because they'll minimize to just a little dot. And so home, back, and recent apps. To the far right's recent app running or in the background, home button and the back button. So this will take me back home. Kind of, it's kind of neat how you press on it, it kind of glows a little bit. Can you see that? It's pretty neat. Okay, any other questions? That's it for this really brief walkthrough, once again, of ICS. 
there's anything missing, feel free to drop us a comment at slashgear.com. Creating folders on ICS is pretty easy. All you do is, let's say I don't want him in there. I can either drag that app into any folders or drag another app and just throw it right on top of it. If I'm done with it, just drag it out. And let's say if you no longer want an app, what do we want to do here? Let's take read it later and install, or you can move it from, oops, sorry there. Where did it go? Take that and move it from window to window, which I'm not doing here. See that? And if I don't want it, I can just drop it somewhere. The other thing I've noticed with ICS is under setting. I sat here for a while looking at how I can add a Wi-Fi wi hotspot. Now, if you turn it on and off, in the previous Android version, there should be like a drop down of some sort to give you a selection of a Wi-Fi hotspot to pick from. Not the case in ICS. You actually have to press and select. And from there, you can pick whatever you want. It's the same for Bluetooth. So that's a quick tip there for you when you get your own device.